In the spring of 2010, I was checking my Twitter feed to see what was new in technology and education, and I came across this tweet, which read, Read Cloud is a fascinating free site that may be useful for teacher librarians in English. At the very least, I was intrigued, so I clicked the link to find out more. The website promised many things, best of which are illustrated in the video offered by ReadCloud. Welcome to ReadCloud. The e-reading revolution has begun. Even after the dawn of the information age, we're still reading alone. Where is the innovation for software e-readers? Industry leaders are just putting an E before reading. ReadCloud is doing something revolutionary. Up until now, the book hasn't learned from the internet. That's what ReadCloud is about to change. The future of the book won't be proprietary dead hardware. The solution lies in software that spans multimedia devices. We are redefining the book to be a hyperconnected, like the internet. ReadCloud stores books in the cloud and enables embedded multimedia discussions on and offline. We present the book as a social platform. Our reader takes standard formats and makes all content hyperlinkable as well as mashable with dictionary encyclopedias and search engines. It's a multimedia pop-up book, allowing embedded maps, videos, pictures, text. It's social. Annotations can be shared publicly with specific groups. After watching the video, I was intrigued, but I still had some questions. So I did what any 21st century learner would do, and I emailed the creator, Jeremy Labard. Subject, inquiring about ReadCloud. Hi, Jeremy. My name is Greg Hundermark, and I'm an English teacher from Peckway Valley High School, located in Lancaster County, PA. I'm writing to inquire about ReadCloud. How extensively have you thought about integrating your application into the classroom? I'm piloting a one-to-one -one program next year and would love to try this software with my students. Best regards, Greg Hundermark. P.S. Do you plan to support PDFs in any future releases of your software? Over the course of the six to eight months that followed, Jeremy and I engaged in dozens of email conversations and Skype sessions to discuss and determine how his software could best be modified for use in an educational setting. I'm excited to announce that several months ago, it was agreed upon that Peckway Valley High School would be the first school in the United States to use this application. For one last glimpse of what to expect from this software, Please sit back for ReadCloud's latest promotional video. The e-reading revolution has begun. ReadCloud stores books in the cloud and enables multimedia discussions both on and offline. ReadCloud turns the e-book into a social platform. Our e-reader takes standard formats and enables all content to be hyperlinkable. ReadCloud is the world's first social e-reading software for e-books and education. Over 500 educators globally have already signed up to trial the software. In the US, we've been selected by one of the largest state school systems as their e-reading software of choice for their laptop pilot programs. The go-to market strategy is a partnership model which already includes Adobe and members of the Australian Publishing Association. And we're launching into public trials in October with the Department of Education and Training in New South Wales. Our aim is to be the e-reader of choice installed on millions of school laptops across Australia and globally over the next two years. As part of our agreement, Jeremy has asked our class to remain in contact with him so that he can use our students' feedback to continue customizing the application. I am excited to share this information with my students and begin using the application with them. I am optimistic that the partnership with Jeremy and ReadCloud will prove to be an empowering example of how technology can bring people together from all across the globe to collaborate and work together to reach a common goal.